unpack a cracker jacker introducing to you oh oh the denon dj sc 2900 what a beautiful box eh? what a beautiful box Crack this open. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Safety first. As you can see, it's got flaps that open. Big flaps. Big PC yellow. Yeah. And big PC yellow tape. Could come in handy. You got yourself like this a bag of goodies, yeah, like a lucky dip pack. What you used to get years ago, 25p. But in it, you get set phone or cables, USB cable. Look at that, USB modern technology. Yeah. Comes with a, a disc. With all the relevant stuff probably contains engine, the software that comes with it, operating systems, uh, PDF guides, stuff like that. But then you get like this here. It does do a lot of stuff, this machine. Just gonna rush through, see ya. Rush through all of this. Yeah, yes. It goes on about buttons, yeah. All the crap, what it does. All the crap. Oh. oh yeah, on the bottom of the box comes the AC cable, yeah, power cable, are you ready, are you fucking ready for that, look at that thing, yeah, this is like, the retailing I meant between five, so down on the same between five and six hundred quid each, yeah? You're picking them up for four fifty in shops. I actually paid four hundred quid each when I bought two. So it cost me eight hundred pounds. As you can see it's got like it doesn't have the spinning platter like the other downs do, it's just got this. You know. Solid platter. It's got a yeah. 7 inch static clips platter it says here yeah it able to play back from a CD USB yeah you can link it USB to your uh, PC stream it straight to like different softwares and all that sort of stuff Stop then because I've got a phone call. I don't want any of you knowing my personal fucking shit, yeah? So, yeah, yeah, it says it's fully MIDI compatible. It's actually hybrid MIDI. It can be ma mapped to, to most things, you know. It's got a USB audio interface, sound card built into it, capable of running at like fucking extreme levels or whatever, I don't know, yeah. Works with a Denon's version of what Pioneer may call record box, yeah, which Pioneer, I don't know, never fucking used it, but Denon has got engine it's called, the version of record box, yeah, and they say that the version of engine as well will work with future products which are due to be released, yeah, the deck at the back can be connected via ethernet cables, to each other, you can connect up to four of these bad boys together via a router, yeah, and a bangy USB in there. Send it to any, so you can run four decks off one USB. Obviously, the soft, the material on the USB would have to go through engine software, yeah. 
um, it's got auto manual loop functions, hot cue points, reverse button, yeah, all the same as Pioneer Q, play, pause, you've got a beat sync button for the novices out there, you know, them people who like to cheat or get fucked up, tap button, yeah, tap button, tap, it says tap, look, tap, tap, yeah, Um got all sorts of shit basically, you know, you've got your uh, slip function here, which Pioneer have got, so your tune's playing, sw switch your slip on, and you can rewind tune or scratch on it or whatever, and as soon as you let go, it'll continue playing to where the song would be at, had you not done it, obviously if you switch it off, yeah, and you start scratching, it'll just continue playing from the point where you're scratching it at, yeah, it's got a cross platform, you know, interface in it so it can work with PC or Mac. There's lots of stuff in it. Nice pitch here, as you can see the pitch 6, 10, 16, 100% range, yeah. Key adjust button there, for keeping it in key and stuff like that. You've got switch between vinyl mode and CDJ mode. You've got your, your start time for the amount of time you've got the class to start up, stop time, S scroll button. Click, select, back, eject this. This is where you eject your USB. As you can see on top of it here, you've got CD, USB, link, MIDI, selecting different things. CD goes on the front, USB in here, link up to another device, MIDI for when you're mapping it to software out there. You've got a torque adjustment here, so it's, it's quite stiff to move around or quite loose to move around. When it's actually switched on, this around the edge lights up with a um, LED and it'll tell you where your cue point is. It'll tell you where your cue point is on a record basically. So you switch it on, your cue point will start here, yeah, you, and then you can move it, get where your cue is, cue it up and it'll reassign to it there. And then as the music's playing, it'll spin the light around the, L the LED so you can see where you are. You've got the display up here with lots of things on it. Obviously, I've not even plugged it in yet because you can see it. Let's see whether I can sort this out for you quick. Alrighty then, as you can see, I've got it plugged in here. There's a wire, there's electricity running through that. Press that button at the back. on DJ. Woo! No disc. No disc. I say you can flick through your different uh, fuck knows how. So you put your disc in the front, bang bang bang, CD loading, yeah. Cue point first track, is it? Press your play. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, pitch blend mode, see it there, the little light. Yeah, you can go into it and change the colours of all this, you know, you can have it playing at, at purple, wherever it is. I think this keeps your cue points, so let's go back to the cue. Yeah, as you can see, it keeps your cue points, so let's move it to the cue up again. It's gone back to the, let's keep it to here. Yeah, what the fuck's going on here? Q point, bam, 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 bam. Yeah? Oh, I haven't got a fucking clue. Sort it out some other time, innit? Boom! Update, yeah? Update, right? Q points. So where's your Q point? You got it there. If you let go, it goes back to the Q point, yeah? goes back to the cue point when you let go so if you move it then press your cue button it assigns it to wherever you want it there you go place from there uh, start time fast yeah so cue point again instant start you go slow so cue point yeah, and that's how that kind of like works you know what I'm saying Stop time fast. 
instant, yeah? So you want it like a turntable. Mm. Mm. You know. Yes! 